สวัสดีครับ It's Thursday, September 12th. I'm JP m a s t a n z a and this is Puket Extra, brought to you by PSD Windows and Doors. Now let's start with our top story. Phuket expat diver and French national Maxime Poliaka has received a royal award for his role in the rescue of the 13 child footballers and their coach trapped in the flooded t a m l u a n g Cave in Chiang Rai last year. Mr. Poliaka received the royal honor during a presentation ceremony held in Paris at the official residence of the royal Thai ambassador to France, Sarun Charon Suan, on Monday. After serving in the army for 12 years with military diving training, Mr. Poliaka worked as a dive instructor in the Maldives before coming to Phuket to learn technical diving in Rawai. Later, he, along with Ben r e m i n e n t s also from Phuket, they both joined the international effort that resulted in safely recovering the children and their coach after 18 days stuck in the cave with rising floodwaters. Researchers are now expanding their study after finding an alarming amount of microplastics in the stomach of mackerel that were caught off the southern coast, thus off the southern province of Trang, believing that the debris has an impact on the marine food chain in the area. The waters off Ha Chao Mai Beach in Trang are home to much of the commercial fish that makes its way to kitchens nationwide. And researchers, and researchers at the Marine National Park Operations Center Number no. Three there in the province, they began studying mackerel caught in the area to examine their stomachs and see just what they're consuming. What they found is an average of 78 pieces of microplastic from one to five millimeters across in the stomach of each mackerel caught in the area. Microplastics are tiny particles of plastic. That were broken down from bigger pieces of plastic by the salinity of the ocean. The finding is now pushing researchers to expand their study to include fish meat and shellfish. A painting of Buddha depicted as a Japanese superhero has been making headlines this week nationwide after some religious hardliners filed a complaint calling it an insult to the religion. Well, Coconuts Bangkok is now reporting that the man who bought the painting, he sold it for 600,000 baht today. Bakon Ponchi Warakun bought his painting in p e c h a b u r i Province for about 4,500 baht, and when photos of it went online earlier this week, several online condemned the painting, just one of four that show Buddha as a Japanese superhero named Ultraman. Even renowned national artist c h a l u m c h a i defended and supported the unnamed student who painted the pieces. Today, Pakon told Coconuts Bangkok that he's accepted an offer of 600,000 baht, over 130 times what he paid for, and said he plans to donate the proceeds to buy ICU beds for Children's Hospital in Nakhon Ratchasima Province. That's the same province where the original artist studies at a local university. And he says that he'll write the artist's name as the sole donor. The news comes just a day after a spokesman from the prime minister's office weighed in on the issue, saying the artist had no ill intention, and since they've already apologized, they should be forgiven. For more, visit the phuketnews.com. Phuket X, we are back after this. Welcome back to Phuket Extra. A disgusting story out of Songkla Province, as an army lieutenant is facing accusations of raping a fellow soldier's 14-year-old daughter. He's now been dishonorably discharged from the military. Lieutenant Jarai Rojana s a w e n y a is accused of raping a 14-year-old girl on several occasions, beginning in March of this year, and videotaping the abuse in order to blackmail the girl into silence. The family has filed a complaint with Natawi District Police in Songkla Province. The family says the girl is the daughter of a sergeant major first class in Songkla Province and had reportedly suffered severe depression and tried twice to commit suicide after the incident. Once the father found out, he confronted the accused officer and guns were drawn, but shots were fired only into the ground. Both men were suspended from duty. 
but the probe into the rape accusations are ongoing. The Times Higher Education World University rankings have been released for 2020, and Thailand now has 60 institutions on the list, with Mai Fa Luang University in Chiang Rai and Mahidol University in Nakompatom province rated as the nation's top institutions. Both schools were ranked in the 601 to 800 tier, as the Times does not assign specific rankings for universities out of the top 200. Chulalongkorn University in Bangkok was ranked in the 800 to 1000 category group. Despite more Thai institutions in the rankings, higher institutions in Thailand still trail Singapore, the Philippines, Brunei and Malaysia, with the National University of Singapore maintaining their status as the best in ASEAN, ranked 25th in the world, while Nanyang Technology University, also in Singapore, is 48th in the world. And that's it for Phuket Extra, brought to you by PSD Windows and Doors. For safe, secure, and soundproof windows, visit pvcphuket.com. We'd like to get your feedback on any of the news you just watched, so drop us a line in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe. From all of us here at the Phuket News Center, thank you for watching, and until tomorrow, stay classy, Phuket. Join the race of legends, Laguna Phuket Triathlon Sprint Distance and Charity Fun Run. Register now at lagunapukettri.com.